So turn the breaker on. Turn the uh, system on. Hit the on. on switch over here. And now we just need to wait for the uh, system to come up. Actually, you know, we can, on this system, we can just turn it all the way on. Just turn it all the way on. You're going to go through the pre-cooling stage. <clears throat> and on a, on a Monday after it's been sitting out, it might take just a few minutes to get up to temperature. That's the, so the rotary is homing right now. Oh, okay. And now the Z should home. We'll have to see why this is going. So it actually goes through a pre-cooling and a pre-heating stage for just a few minutes. Um, and if we look at our temperature, it's got to come down to 25 before it actually will turn the system ready light on. There it goes on. So actually, on it to 5.4. So now once this is on, um, <coughs> Control, Alt, Control, Delete, delete. All right. and then the password is the Rofen-Hip. Rofen, Rofen-Hip. H-I-P? Yeah, okay. and it's all lowercase. R-O-F-I-N-H-I-P. Enter. Is that that? Yeah, it's in there. Okay, good. Now, Technically, the computer is not talking to the laser, but anytime you open up anything to do with this, you'll notice that you'll have a download, but download screen come up. That download has to stay on all the time. It's basically showing you the communication back and forth. That's the downloader is kind of, to put it simply, it shows you the, that communication between the laser and the PC is running. So that is always down there, so don't ever try to close it. Okay. Uh, we can go back to our monitor. We can see that everything's up, the door is closed. You can see that everything is working just right. Um, this right here is the LaserCAD software. That's the editor that you're using to create the marks load up the jobs. Um, it looks like you have a bunch of bunch of old jobs from old customers. So you can actually run those, any one of those then, right? Yep. Good mark. Ah, this is a rotary. Good mark was the rotary? Was a rotary program. A rotary program. So to, in order to use the rotary, you have to set up different parameters in the basic settings. You have to tell it uh, the rotary is active and so on and so forth. And then what it does is it basically, obviously you've got the circle and it basically spreads everything out on right. the flat. So you just put everything where you want it to be. A lot of this is, uh, well, Get it, to use all this stuff, it just takes too long. It's training and stuff like that. So, so that is a job for the rotary. Yeah, you've got a lot of jobs. Test. So this is a flat field mark. It's just got an object on the flat field instead okay. of the rotary, so you can tell that. So go in here and you want to look at that basic settings. That one's still set up for zero, zero. So that would actually mark probably right on Down this here. Yeah. So if you did that, you'd lose a lot of your power because it's the, your, the, the V's going back out? No? Because your Z height is going to go all the way down. Okay. Yeah. It's just that right now, they put somebody put this extra plate table. in here. Yeah. Lift table. Probably it's the motor. It's for the 
for the x-axis. Mm -hmm. And like we talked about before. So now if we if we did run this the way the program is now set it to zero, would this physically drop down and hit this table? No. Oh, okay. This it's is just thinking it's going down there. Six, well, I'll show you how long it, how far it will be. Let's just say this base height is 80. We're going to say okay. We're going to act like we're going to mark. It is going to etch it at. So that's over. So if you're trying to get an annealed mark, you want to try not to pit it. So you just want to discolor it. Get that flashlight. Yeah, so that's better. So what happens is you have to back off on the power so you don't etch the metal. Uh huh. And then what you'll get is a more of a. Hopefully, it won't wipe it off. Is that it right there? Oh, the smaller one on the end? Right there. Oh, yeah. It's hard to see that. This one right there? Yeah, that one right there. It's on the end. Okay, so it's annealed. So it's really just, it's just really marking the edges. Yeah, this might...